Hello new friends and old, welcome to my move-in vlog. So I'm gonna have to voice over this part because we were super stressed about getting my parents out of the city as soon as possible. There was a nor'easter coming and they had to drive all the way back home so we wanted to make sure they were safe. Anyway, I'm packing up all of these plastic boxes that I put all of my life into over the past week. It was very sad. Anyway, we also piled up a mini fridge. And here I am pretending to help. So this is the new house arcade, I believe. It's the hallway from the lobby to the elevator. And this is the room I'm staying in for quarantine week. New crib. New crib. Anyway, as you can see, I was really excited and even got excited over a thermostat. <laughs> there's a thermostat. Here is one of the study spaces in New House. Unfortunately, we couldn't use it because I was only there for a week and that week was quarantine week, so I really couldn't leave my room. And this is another hallway. This is trip two of moving my stuff up to my room. Chronic overpacker, that's me. And no one told me how hard it is to move these carts. Last trip. <laughs> then I had to go run to catch up to my dad who clearly did not need or want my help. This is what my room looked like when my parents left or when my dad left since we were only allowed one parent to help us move in. It is so crazy because I feel like I've been waiting for this day since I was in middle school, to be honest. Didn't know it'd be MIT, but I was very excited to move in and I'm finally here. So there's a long story to this, let me sit down. Okay, now that we're comfortable, I'm gonna try to keep this explanation short. I'm gonna give myself 30 seconds to explain everything. So basically I moved to campus two weeks early so that I could do some in-person stuff earlier and get off quarantine earlier. So that means I'm living in new house for one week and then I'm moving to my permanent housing, which is Simmons Hall next week after quarantine week. Don't know how much I should move in right here. I obviously have to make my bed, but I'm not really sure how much I should be taking out of the boxes. This should be interesting. Maybe I'll just live in a rat's nest for a week. We'll see. I'm going to start to clean some stuff up. I'm gonna do a quick tour because I don't think it'll change that much. I'm only living here for a week, so it doesn't really make sense for me to actually make everything look the way that I ultimately want it to. We'll see how I'm gonna be living, aka in trash for the next week. Okay, right, so here's the door. I just have it like this because I feel like I'm gonna accidentally forget to take a mask when I leave my room because at home I don't need a mask. We decided to put this bookshelf right here just because I don't need it right now and that way I can store stuff sort of out of the way. So I have my purse, the blender that you've seen, and it also has some other stuff in that box, and my yoga mat. Here I just have some snacks, best snack ever. And then here is the closet. I have my bubble wrap up there for when I have to move again. Haven't opened the bottom shelf, should probably do that. And here's what it looks like inside. I have my coat that I always have to wear and the trench coat because I don't want it to get wrinkled. And then this old dance bag has a bunch of bathroom stuff in it and I just moved it into my shower caddy. And at the bottom, I brought a bunch of dumbbells so I haven't unwrapped them yet, but they're going there. I might end up putting them in here. Here you have my desk. I have a spray bottle with cleaning solution, the charger for my toothbrush in Clarisonic, a lamp, textbook, my water bottle, and then a nice swirly chair and the trash can. And here's my bed. Ignore the workout clothes that I packed very last minute because I needed them before I left. There are these drawers that I haven't used yet. My backpack, a bunch of these storage bins that I'm gonna open once I get to my actual dorm, my big suitcase, a refrigerator that I just picked up. So here's my smaller suitcase and some more storage stuff. This has a bunch of bowls and containers that I feel like I'll need, so I'm leaving them out here for now. Here's my view. So I got a Riverside view, so a Boston view. And it looks so pretty outside. I say it looks pretty, and then 
give me one day. It's about to snow, I think a foot tomorrow, maybe? There's a nor'easter coming through, it just hasn't hit yet, so it still looks nice. But yeah. I'm in the elevator right now. I'm going to get my lunch next door. Just got back from MIT dining and here's the food. So this is Korean street toast, I think. There's, there's tofu scramble and broccoli. Looks pretty good. Look at this thick sandwich. I did not know what to expect reading the description, but it was really good. The broccoli also did not like me and I did not like it. I was a fan of everything else though. All of this is really good. I wonder how often the options change. There's also more that I didn't pick up, so. I'm about to go leave for MIT Medical to get tested. Right now I'm just having some strawberries. These are really good. got back from getting my nose swapped. My hands are so dry that I think they're kind of cracked. So when I wipe my hands with hand sanitizer, it hurts like all over my hands. I'm just gonna get some work done and then I will try to work out in my dorm room. I have a pretty good space here. So I think I can make it work. Plus I have dumbbells, so it's not like I need that much space anyway. Other than that, it has been pretty fun. I have dishes to do now since I ate strawberries. I'm enjoying it and I will check in later. So I just got a little bit of work done and then I will continue that later, but I'm gonna work out. It's been a while since I've been able to like actually fully work out because I've been in a hotel. And then I'll go pick up dinner and it should be a pretty chill night. I just finished the workout. It is kind of hot in here now because I had it set higher because it's Boston and it's winter. But I'm gonna go call a friend real quick and then go get dinner. And I also have to shower, so a lot to do. Just finished the call and I'm gonna go get dinner and then I'm gonna shower because I'm hungry. This is the space in between the two dorms and I just thought it was really pretty because of the snow. Dinner was this steak. I honestly can't remember what sauce was on it. Some more broccoli and tofu pho. I wanted beef, but they didn't have any more beef pho, so I settled for the other one. But it was still really good, and I called my parents while eating all of this. The steak especially was extremely delicious, and luckily the broccoli was a lot better than the broccoli I had at lunch. I just realized that I never gave an update after I said I was going to get dinner, I think. But I had dinner and then I showered and have been doing some work. I finished up the work that I was working on earlier, called the friend that you've seen, maybe have seen in one of my previous videos. It was post finals reset or something like that. And now I'm about to go to bed. I have a lot of journaling to catch up on because I've been on the road and haven't really been able to pull out pens and notebooks and write while I'm trying to keep everything packed and in the right place. I'll see how much of that I want to get done and then I'll just head to bed because I'm pretty tired. I just brushed my teeth. It has been a very exciting day and I'm excited to see what tomorrow has to bring even though it's the start of Q week but I will be vlogging it so stay tuned for that. I will not be allowed to leave my room basically so it should be interesting. Okay I'm in bed so that officially means the end of this video. Tomorrow, I will start vlogging for my quarantine week video, but this is the end of move-in day. It's been a really fun day, and I will see you in the morning. Almost forgot, thank you for watching.